And now, as the National Assembly concludes public participation in the contentious Finance Bill 2024, tax experts have today called for the immediate implementation of the national tax policy to provide certainty to investors as they make investment decisions in Kenya. Addressing the press in Nairobi, Kevin Chage, a tax expert at PKF Kenya, said the implementation of the national tax policy will provide the element of predictability in tax policies, which is an important factor for investors. Here is more on the same. Tax experts now want the government to adopt the national taxation policy to provide tax predictability and transparency in tax policies. This is in the wake of the potential unfriendly business environment that might be brought about by some of the proposed taxes in the finance bill of 2024. According to Kevin Tege, tax expert from PKF Kenya, an unfriendly tax environment will increase the cost of doing business, which will eventually lead to businesses scaling down or at worst seizing operations. With predictability, you are able to make long-term decisions and you are able to, to, to know that you are cushioned when you are, you are coming to invest in the country. We are trying to market Kenya as a uh, investment destination. So the national tax policy will provide the much needed predictability in tax uh, policies. PKF Kenya also called for the alignment of the Finance Bill 2024's fiscal policy with the international best practices in taxation, which will in turn create a conducive environment for foreign investors. The Finance Bill 2024 proposes to subject to withholding tax the issue of software distribution, which goes against international best practice. So we are going to lose so many investors in that uh, sphere, as well as uh, become very punitive to those who are already operating in that sphere. The call by PKF Kenya comes at a time when the National Assembly concluded the Finance Bill 2024 public participation. I decline to make any proposal because I feel whatever we say will not be put into use. A session which saw the common monarchy who had not gotten a chance to appear in the previous committees table their views. It's not that we are running away from tax, but we are looking at things that will enable these children to stay at school. So, Bwanachia, Hapo Naomba, Hiyo Mukati Ambayo, Unaona, Tafadhali, I know, it is very sweet, but, Tafadhali Usi Akikisha Ya Kwamba Iko Tax Free, so that this child Akipata Mukati, a bite, can go to school. I'm also requesting that uh, the 2.5 percent that is being introduced for vehicles also be removed. Introducing taxes on Dinecha Bernardo, which is one of the clean cooking fuels, really um, makes it unaffordable to majority of Kenyans, and the government itself has actually set a target of universal access to clean cooking by 2030. That will not be achieved if taxation uh, of this nature is introduced. The bill, which is said to be considered in Parliament from this week, has continued to attract a strong resistance from a cross-section of leaders, including those in the ruling administration. Hilary Kabila, GBS News.